Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 13 on Catalan Automation Tool Concepts. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we set up environment by using Catalan Studio and how can we set up environment variables by using profiles option in Catalan Studio. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create different environments by using profiles options that is available in catalog and how can we refer environment variables from these profiles and also how to set environment during test execution under test case module and also I'm going to teach you how can you set up environment in test suites and also how can you set up environments in test suite collections that means when you execute any test suite that you have created you can set up an environment by using test suite itself and also whenever you create a set test suite collection right you can set up environment and collection as well so i'm going to teach you how can we we perform all these actions let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these actions so this is my Catalan Studio. Okay. Before I start explaining the environment variable concepts, right? So let's automate a very simple scenario quickly. Okay. So under test case, uh, let me create a new test case environment test. Okay. This is my test case. And then Let's record a simple scenario to automate the test case. Okay. So for that, use a record web application option on top ribbon and then provide the URL that you would like to record. Okay. This is my URL. Okay. So in my previous video sessions, I have already explained you how can we uh, automate a simple web scenarios. Okay. So I would suggest you guys to uh, please do visit uh, those videos before you watch this session. Okay, and then so I'm going to use Chrome and then click on record So as soon as you click on record, it's going to open the web application. Let me expand the right side pane. Okay, so Whenever I'm entering the text here, it's going to record your steps Whatever the steps I'm performing on the web application uh, username and then password click on login and then probably we will close the browser okay that's it so and then save the script i would like to save the script so i'm going to mention that change into existing object okay click ok so now you can see the test case environment way environment test is ready for us okay and here i'm going to insert a new step here add web ui keyword to close the browser close browser okay done so we have done our recording and then save all these steps okay so before i explain the environment variables okay so in generally in the corporate world we generally have a different environments what do you mean by different environments one is dev environment you might have qa environment you might have uat environment you might also have sit environment and production environment so let's remove our dev environment because we are not not at all bother about the environment so if you see in QA environment, let's say my application URL will be different compared to QA environment, sorry, compared to your production environment. Let's say in QA, my QA URL is QA.example. This is my QA URL. And then my UAT 
application URL is UAT dot example dot test project and then in set my application URL will be SIT dot and in production this is my URL so nothing is in front of example okay so that means for each you for each environment we will have a different URLs for the applications I'm gonna I'm not gonna test the same application in different environments so developers is going to create different URLs for each environment. Okay. So now how can we manage all these URLs and within different environments? And also let's assume I have a username to login. So username for QA might be QA test and password 12345. And then username for UAT might be UAT test and the password is 12345 so and so on so the user details or the test data might not be same in all environments so you may need to use a different data sets in different environments so how can we manage all these environment variables including the different URLs within the Catalan studio how can you manage different environments so that's what we are going to see okay so now if you see in Catalan you can see an option called profiles under profiles by default I have a default profile has been set up so now what I want to do I want to add a new environment or a new profile for that I'm gonna do new execution profile name this as QA and this is my new profile right and then I'm gonna add my variables here URL the URL value is this click OK the username QA test add another URL password 12345 okay now I want to create another in environment what is my next environment it's UAT environment and here so let me do one thing let me delete this environment I want to copy the environment okay here instead of creating new profile I would like to just copy this profile copy and then paste it here and I want to rename this as UAT so this way I can copy all the variables that are available in QA so here here the URL for the UAT now I can change it to UAT dot UAT dot example dot com okay but currently I don't have that URL that's why I'm not going to use that and then I want to change the username to UAT test okay so this way you can manage different variables you can manage different variables in different environments and now how can we so we learn how to create environments using profiles and how can we refer these environment variables from profiles okay so let's go back to test case that we have created this is my test case here instead of hard coding my um, the URL here I want to use my environment variables how before I use the environment variables you need to select the environment from the top ribbon if you see this is my run debug mode right if you see here this is my environment select execution profile either profile or environment okay expand this now I can see I have QA environment profile I have UAT environment profile so now I want to execute the test case by using QA environment variables select this 
and now here the URL I would like to replace with my QA environment variables. As I have selected my environment as QA, here it's going to show the variables related to. So before, I mean, value type should not be string here. My value type should be global variables. So all environment variables are your global variables. So that's why you're going to select global variable. And then here, if you see, the variables whatever I define in QA environment will be shown here. Select the URL variable here. Click OK. In the same way, my username. Here, select the value type as global variable and then select username. In the same way, password. Select the URL as this one and then select the variable as global variable. So here I want to change it to set text instead of set encrypted test. Okay. And now save your test. Okay. Now let's execute your test case. So when you execute your test case under QA, the username that we have defined as QA test under UAT username defined as UAT test, right? So that means when I'm executing this test case under QA environment, it should take QA test as username. Okay, let me run this. Just click on run. As soon as you click on run, it's going to open your Chrome browser and then username and all the variables will be taken from the QA environment. Okay, so now it's executing the test case. It's, it's going to open the Chrome browser. And if you see here, see it entered QA test. That's it. It's entered the password as well. And now let me change my environment to UAT. Here, if you see on top ribbon, I'm changing the environment to UAT. And now execute this test case by using UAT environment global variables. Okay, let's execute. And now this time it should open your Chrome browser, but it should take all the variables from UAT environment, including URLs, right? So it's going to open the same URL because we have provided the same URL. In generally, we provide a UAT, UAT URL, different URL. It's open now. The username should be UAT test. See, now it's taking the username as UAT test instead of QA test because it's taking the variables from environment, UAT environment. Okay, so hope you all understand how can you set up or how can you set up the environments during execution. Now, let me show you how to set these environments in test suite level. So now let's create a new test suite here. This is my test suite. See, I have explained all these concepts in my previous videos. Okay, so create a new test suite. environment test suite and now let's map the test case whatever we automated to this test suite add your test case to this test suite so this is my test case click ok and here while executing your test suite you can select the environment that you would like to execute in i can select uat and then save all these changes now just run the test suite as soon as you run the test suite it's going to open your chrome and because i've selected uat it's going to take all the variables from the uat environment that we have set up earlier okay so open this it is opening a browser and then it's going to enter all the variables from uat environment URL, username, and password, UAT test, right? That's done. So now that means when I'm executing the test cases by creating a test suite, I can select only one environment at a time. I cannot select multiple environments for a single test suite. Under this test suite, let's say you have added 10 
100 test cases okay all these 100 test cases can be executed in uat environment but but whereas when you are creating a test case collection test suite collection so test suite collection i can use a different environment variables that i would like to run that means in test suite collection i'll call one test case sorry test suite one and i would like to execute the test suite one in qa environment i would like to call another test suite test suite two and i would like to execute those test cases in uat environment and i want to call another test suite which is called test suite three and i want to execute them in production environment right so let's create a test suite collection right click new test suite collection collection click ok so now under test suite collection let's add our test suite add what is our test suite environment test suite ok I am adding a test suite to the collection and save this if you see here under test suite here I am running this test suite in Chrome and I can select my environment here for this test suite let's say I want to execute in QA and now let's save this and now add the same test suite again ok add the same test suite click ok and this time I would like to execute this test suite in Chrome but I want to use my UAT environment that means I want to run this test suite under UAT first test suite under QA save this and now let's run this then what happens for the test first test suite we have one test case where it's going to execute the test cases by using QA environment variables second, the second test suite has one test case it's going to execute on Chrome and it's going to use all the variables that we have defined in UAT environment okay so let's save this and then run all these test cases click on execute as soon as you click on execute first it's gonna execute my first test suite okay it's gonna open your chrome browser okay so it's opening the chrome browser right executing open the chrome browser and start using your QA environment variables first QA URL QA test password login close and now it's going to execute the second test test suite right yes so it started executing the second test suite as well okay okay let me do one thing yeah it started so it opened your chrome browser and this time is going to enter UAT test as username and close what we understand by using test suite collection you can set up multiple test suites but you can select a different environment variables for those multiple test suites under test suite you can use only one environment variable environment for each test suite right so hope you all understand the concept of environments what is the need of environments while automating the test cases how can we create environments by using Catalan studio and how can you use those environments variables while executing the test cases while executing your test suites and while executing your test suite collections hope you all understand the concepts if you have any queries please do provide your queries in the comment box i'll try to reply to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you